here with brother Darren Muhammad, State of the City. Sure. Got a lot to talk about. We're going to be doing this event coming up. Yeah. We got an event coming up on July the 2nd, Saturday, July the 2nd. And uh, that's going to be at the uh, Blacks and Wax Museum. Down at the Blacks and Wax Museum. And also, when they come to that event, you also get a free tour of the Black, the National Blacks and Wax Museum. All right. So, let's put our brother Darren. That's um, when they come early. Open the doors. Come early. Doors open at 5. We get started at 6. Okay. Get okay. your tickets so you can be all up in the mix. Of course, that's two days before the before the day live. So right. we got a lot. We're gonna talk about laying out the facts of the great blacks and whites. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you think people still celebrate the Fourth of July like that, man? Got a lot of them still eating baseball apple pies and they drive <laughs> Chevrolets, bro. I don't right. know if they eating the maybe eating the baseballs too. But uh, we definitely know <laughs> they're still celebrating the Fourth of July. Right, right, right. Yes, right, sir. Right. So we probably might want to talk about that a little bit on that. Got you. We're talking about what Frederick Douglass said, our great ancestors. Oh, what to the slave is the Fourth of July, yeah. the Fourth of July. We got right. to talk about that. That's right. That's the deception right. connection. Our deception's gone wild right now, going on in this country. Right. right. Now, what's, yes, one of, what's one of the, What's one of the key things that we're gonna actually be talking about on that day? We're gonna talk about, of course, the greatest and the latest, Muhammad Ali. Uh oh. For those of us that know, we all continue his legacy. We flow like a butterfly. Thing like it be. We the latest of the greatest in this alley. So you come on out, we got a lot we're gonna have to say and a lot we're gonna share. That Muhammad Ali is almost like two Ali. Muhammad Ali hijacked, right? hijacked the funeral of Muhammad Ali. Right. He didn't right. allow Minister Farrakhan, didn't allow Dick Gregory, didn't allow Jim Brown, didn't allow Bill Russell and Kareem Abdul Jabbar and others that stood with Muhammad Ali to even speak at his funeral or his Islamic janaza on the previous day on that Thursday. So we're gonna talk about that and how the government targeted Muhammad Ali through Operation Shamrock and Operation Minaret in which they targeted Muhammad Ali. We're gonna general. talk about Prince and the death of Prince. I always ask him when we see these uh, assassinations and these phenomenons, of course, Kibono who benefits. Right. Prince died on April the 21st, one day after the birthday of Adolf Hitler. He died on the birthday that they celebrate uh, the Queen England's birthday, and that whole color purple and the purple rain, not R A I N, but R E I G N. Right. We're going to talk about the death of Prince as well. This whole Freddie Gray scandal case or whatever like that. You know, give, us some, give us some bullets around us. Psyops, you don't want to miss that. We're going to definitely get back into this whole Freddie Gray psyops and phenom uh, in terms of what happened to Freddie Gray. And we all saw the three police officers, Officer Rice, Officer Miller, and Officer Nero grabbed Freddie Gray, beat Freddie Gray down, right. and then dragged him. It wasn't until later we saw three black officers. And so they've now tried to reduce the conversation and seduce the public to make us think that he died as a result of a rough ride in the police van. <laughs> and nothing could be further from the truth. So we're going to lay all that out and much more around this whole Freddie Gray psyops and this Freddie Gray case, which really is the case of the six Baltimore City police officers and how none of them may eventually do a day in jail. Wow, wow, wow. What about this Orlando thing? Bro? Orlando, we're definitely going to get into this Orlando false flag, this hoax, this psyops, which looks like a Walt Disney production from my perspective. <laughs> Since that is, of course, the home of Disney right there in Orlando. So clearly we're seeing some Disney magic being uh, laid out and played out on the people or the sheep right now, which we're going to talk about. Right, right, right. Well, it looks like we got a lined up family. Reality Speaks, Soul Vibes Nation presents my brother, Brother Darren Muhammad. That's July, Saturday, July the 2nd. We're going right 6 to 8. We're going to open the doors at 5. Uh, we're gonna open the doors at five, I guess, for the uh, for the uh, tour. Public, they get tour. Public, but like we say the doors uh, generally open at six and mm -hmm. seven, seven to ten. Yes, sir. We go okay. seven to ten. Seven to ten, but you can get there early because it's gonna be a free a free tour of the Black to Black Museum. So you don't want to miss it. You can click the link below to get your tickets today and come on out and join my brother Darren Muhammad. We're gonna be dropping it. Be there. That's right. Come on down to the Black Mass Country Club like a Black Panther Club. Get that check up for the next one. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>